guys, what's happening? Today we'll be unboxing the Canon RF 15 to 35 mm f 2.8 IS USM lens. That is a mouthful of a lens to say, but we'll just from now on we'll just call it the 15 to 35. Makes it a bit easier. This is actually the second time I bought something from the Canon website, and the deliveries actually came the day before, so I wasn't even prepared to do a video today. So I just thought, you know, I can't. I can't possibly have a lens like this just sitting in the corner of the room and not open it. If you're watching this and you've looked up about this lens at all, you know that it's an absolute beast of a lens and I'm hoping that it's gonna bring my photography and videography to that next level, which is why anybody would actually spend so much money on a lens. It's a bit mental, but I'll get a wee bit into the specs of the lens while I'm unboxing it. Right. I always like that in a cannon box. I always says stories not included. We've got paper. We've got lots and lots of paper. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. Right. Empty box. This is actually such a big box. I didn't realise it would be this big. It is like, see compared to like your normal kit lenses and stuff like that, like this thing's like big, you know? But it is, it's like a professional lens. This is something I'll buy and it'll date me for years and years and years. I like to think of it as a bit of an investment. So if you're like, should I get it, should I know? Because I was kind of between whether to get the EF 16 to 35, but I decided to go with this. It was a bit more money, but it gives me the full frame of the USR. So to me, that just totally makes it worthwhile. But let's open up this box, eh? User manuals, you know how we feel about those, so. Pfft. Right, what we got first here? This is a. So oh, it's like a wee. It's like a wee bag. It's just a wee bag for your lens, keep it safe. Cardboard, that stuff. Lens hood. I've heard that the lens hood for this is actually quite a bit smaller than the EF. 16 to 35. I suppose that that's a good thing in it. You don't want as it's less space taken up in your bag in it. Lens hood, right there. Looks good to me. In case you're curious, actually, I'm using the 24 millimeter EFS lens on the Canon EOS R with the RF to EFS and EF adapter on it. They make all this camera stuff so like it's it's like how do how do folk just say it in one spiel, you know? And here it is. What we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Oh, straight off the bat, that's heavy. It's heavy, it's a heavy piece of kit right there. Ooh. Ooh. That is a really nice fuse. So good. The focus wheel feels amazing. The zoom feels pure good, just like you could just do it so smooth, you know? So this is a control ring, uh, unless you've been living under a rock, uh, this is actually Canon's new kind of thing on their lenses. Through your camera, put this on, like to set this to ISO or aperture or whatever you like. Just this wee bit at the front so it can make it a wee, it's a wee extra control for you, for your camera, which is really, really handy. Autofocus to manual focus at the side there. The stabilization, the stabilization on this thing is meant to be amazing, so I'm really looking forward to getting some B-roll with that. It's got a nano USM motor, which means like seamless, practically silent autofocusing, and it's super fast, you know? I mean, even the, even these lenses are, 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 they can be no bad, they're quite, quite fast, but this thing would like do that in like seconds, you know? I mean, check that out, it's like, it's like a coffee flask. <laughs> Ooh. Right, so I'm gonna stick this on the camera now to have a little look at what it what it'll be like just in this setup. Like I said, this is a 24 millimeter lens that's on the camera at the moment. So that's quite, that's, I mean, this is obviously a lot wider, plus I'm getting that full frame. There's not gonna be any crop on it. I'm gonna throw this on that camera so you can just see equivalent to this right now to what it'll be like. I'm not gonna move the camera or anything like that, 
I'm just going to keep the camera exactly where it is so that you can really see how much of a difference it makes with a 15mm or an ultra wide angle lens. But before I put it on the camera though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like vlogs, tutorials, explores and unboxing videos just like this one you're watching today, then hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button if you like the video and if you don't like it, hit the dislike button if you want to be that guy, be that guy. Right, let's throw this lens on the camera and see, like I said, I'm not going to move the camera, I'll just throw the lens straight on, sitting where it is right now. So let's do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Look how much you can see. I, I, I must admit, like I was expecting it to be, you know, obviously it's a wide angle, it's 15mm, but like you can literally see right up the sides and everything. I think I actually need to bring you in a wee bit. Like, yeah, wait, wait. Bring you in just a little bit. Right. Right, so yeah, that's that's a wee bit brought in. What, what even is that? That's aye, that's practically the that's practically the 35. The now, so yeah. Essentially what they say on the Canon website, this lens is for architecture and landscape photography, which I will be using it for landscape photography, but also for like vlogging and video and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't believe, I can't believe how wide that is. That is insane. Totally worth the money. I'm absolutely buzzing to get some video done with this thing and also take advantage of that low aperture at 2.8. I'm gonna get some really, really nice smooth B-roll with that low aperture. Nice bloody background, you know, that, that stuff that everybody loves, a bloody background. I mean, this lens it is a bit steep, you know, it's, it's, it's an expensive bit of kit for your camera. I mean, if, if you're going to use it, if it's what you're interested in, your hobby or whatever, I mean, the people always say, oh, oh, don't go out and buy this and that, but see if you want to, like, if it's what you're interested in, go for it. You know what I mean? Because you're only here once and you might as well just enjoy stuff you know especially during this pandemic because let's face it there's nothing else to do is there i hope this video was helpful to you guys i'm gonna do some more videos on this lens uh, once i get a few days out with it and stuff like that i'll put out a couple more videos about it so if that's something you're interested in subscribe but thanks very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye bye it's a bit wider i need to get stand up